Hello and welcome to the demo of my spreadsheet model that effectively and accurately deals with the allocation of central support costs. My name is Mike Fitch, Director of Mike Fitch Limited. I'm a SIT for Qualified Accountant with over 21 years local government finance experience. This demo is aimed at those accountants who have had prior knowledge or experience of allocation of central support costs. So what are the key benefits of my model? Well, it's really user friendly. There's clear step-by-step -step instructions which take you through the whole model. Results are instant as soon as you enter in your budgets or actuals, recharges are calculated straight away. It's 100% accurate. What you input in is recharged out 100%. It effectively calculates cross charging in an instant and it's cheap to purchase. So the spreadsheet consists of five tabs. An introduction tab, which gives some background and an overview of the process. The how to use the model tab, which provides step-by-step -step instructions in how to use the model. Percentage allocations tab, which is where you enter your percentage allocations from support services to direct services. A recharge calculation tab, which performs the calculation once actuals or budgets have been entered. And finally, a journal sheet, which sets out journal entries required to post to the ledger. So I'm going to go straight to the percentage allocations. The way the spreadsheet model works is you only need to complete the blue shaded fields. So the first stage is to set up your support service codes and descriptions. I've entered in four across here for this demonstration, accountancy, legal, HR and ICT and their respective objective codes below. Basically, down the left hand side is where you enter your recipient code. So this would be your frontline services. And I've entered in some here just for this demonstration, private hire licensing, building control, development control, and environmental health. You also may wish to allocate to HRA or capital or other codes such as charities, partnerships, shared working, or if you've got a commercial vehicle. So you allocate your percentages against your recipient codes. The way this model works is you've got to allocate out 100% of your costs or time. If you try and over allocate or under allocate, the, the model throws up an error message. So down here I've tried to, tried to over allocate, it says not completed or incorrect total. Allocations need to equal 100. I then need to go and adjust that. In addition, accountancy cannot charge itself. So I'm going to try to do that. An error message appears. You cannot recharge yourself. Please press cancel and delete entry. So that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, other support services can charge to accountancy, but accountancy cannot charge to itself. Once you've completed all the allocations and the reconciliation at the bottom agrees, all says OK, you can move on to the recharge calculation tab. So again, you only need to complete the blue shaded fields. It's really simple, it's really quick and easy. You enter in these blue cells here, the budgets or actuals and the model calculates based on your percentage allocations on the previous tab the recharges to those codes so i'm just going to show you that it's really whizzy really quick let's enter in some budgets as you can see as i'm entering in these bits the model automatically calculates the recharges. So my support services budget total 180k. 
that's what I'm going to be recharging out. The model's already calculated that down in this section here. And as you can see, the total is 180K. It's as quick and as simple as that. Um, I'll just re-demo that, change some of these budgets around. So, okay. so again, as you can see, I've just changed those budgets and the spreadsheet is automatically updated for those changes. So we've got 51K of budget to be allocated and that's exactly what has been allocated to these direct line services based on the previous percentage allocations tab. You can go back to percentage allocation and change some of these around. Move back to the recharge calculation and it would have automatically updated, allowing for that change. Really, really quick, really efficient. And it also calculates your journal entries required for your general ledger. So that's in the last tab. So this automatically updates and allows for your double entry. That's the end of the demonstration. If you think this is going to be a benefit to you or is better than your existing system, then please contact me. My name's Mike Fitch and you can contact me at my email address mikefitch50 at yahoo.co.uk. Thanks very much for listening and watching this. Again, if I can provide any more information for you, if you're interested, please contact me. Thanks very much. Bye.